Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is TV and today I'm going to be taking you guys with me to go house hunting. So my boyfriend and I are looking for a house in Florida. So we're going to be checking out different areas, looking at different homes and just seeing what our options are. I'll get into detail a little bit more on that later, but right now I am in our first neighborhood and it looks so nice. There is this little pond in the back. It's in a beautiful gated community. A bunch of new build homes in this area and it's so beautiful. And I'm really excited to see what this first house looks like. Checking out one of the houses right here. Go on in. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Laundry room is to the right immediately. Oh, thank you, sir. Oh. I think this has to be safe. You got electricity here? Bam! <laughs> <laughs> we got this island right here, the kitchen oh, area. Sure. Yeah, sure. Perfect place for them to look. Nice backyard. You know, I can chill out back there. Here's what the master bedroom looks like. And then we got the bathroom over here. Oh, my bad. We got the walk-in closet over here. And the bathroom. So here's what the shower looks like, the sink, and I am loving this color scheme and design. Oh. Right. Here's what another bathroom looks like. We have the second bedroom over here, another bedroom over here, and here is the closet. So there's three bedrooms in this house, two bathrooms, the new build. And after taking a look at the first house, I feel like that gave us a better idea in terms of sizing and location. The first house that we looked at is smaller than what we want, ideally in terms of sizing, especially the family room and dining room area and the bedrooms. It just felt very tight and it's something to take into consideration because we do want to have guests over our house from time to time. Although the house is very small, it is inside a absolutely beautiful gated community with tons of amenities to offer so that is a plus i also really like the style of the house because it had a very modern look to it along with that it is a new build so that is a plus as well and something that we are considering and i do really like the location as well because it's conveniently located where it's not too far from everything that we need Here's another house we're looking at. Heading in. Thank you. Right off the bat, you feel the difference. Yeah, yeah you, you feel, feel the difference. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It feels more inviting. Mm -hmm. So when you come into this house, this is what this area looks like. And then there's a bathroom over here. One bedroom. Two bedrooms. This whole house comes with four bedrooms, but they all kind of look like this. And they come with a closet. It's a little more smaller than I was expecting, but it could definitely do for a first home. So far, I'm liking this new build. Liking the color scheme. 
there wouldn't be a lot of renovations that needed to be done. So here's what this kitchen area looks like. We have the living room area over here. We got the, I believe this is the master bedroom. Oh no, you're fine, you're fine. <laughs> and then the master bathroom, sink, bathtub, shower, toilet. Oh, and then possibly my future walk-in closet. And I really like this flooring too, the coloring of this flooring. Because we love the gated community that the previous house is located in, we decided to check out other houses in the same area. And I feel like this house in particular is a lot more of what we're looking for, especially in terms of sizing. The only thing that I didn't like about it is that the layout made the house look smaller than what it really is. But I really did like the modern look and that it is a new build. So the house is very new. So this is definitely going to be a house that we are considering because it does have everything that we need. Our only biggest hesitation is that it is out of our price range. So we're going to continue looking at houses and hopefully maybe find something that is more ideal. Checking out another house. Let's go in. And this one's the four bedroom too? Yep, four bedroom. This is the four three. Four three. Here's the little entrance way, and then on this side you have one bedroom over here, which comes with a closet, bathroom, and then another bedroom over here. So this would be perfect for an office or guest bedrooms. And then you come in another new build house, but this area right here is a lot bigger. Oh, I love the kitchen area. Yeah, isn't that, isn't that cool? Yeah. Beautiful. And then here, I believe is the master bedroom. Yeah, this has to be the master bedroom. Another master bathroom closet over here oh and it has two doors oh cool here's also the washer and dryer i guess which actually comes with this house too so that's pretty cool is in the same gated community as the previous house. It's just a lot bigger, more spacious. It's more than we actually need, but I wanted to take a look at different houses in this area and different price ranges just to have more an idea on what we're looking for. I really do love this house, love the look of it, love that it is a new build, and absolutely love this gated community so much which is why we're considering looking at different houses in this area the only thing that i'm hesitant about is that i don't want to get a house that's too much out of our price range because it is a first house and I don't want to stay in this location of Florida for too long. So I don't want us to get comfortable and stay here because we do eventually want to move. That is my only hesitation. Other than that, love this house and it's definitely going to be something that we keep on our list. And now I'm going to show you guys a little bit more of this neighborhood and what this gated community has to offer and why I just really, really like it. Ooh. This is actually really cool. Yeah, the pool Aww, area. Oh, they're doing a photo shoot. Doing a photo shoot. Oh, how cool. Yeah, this is a nice area to do a photo shoot right? though. Oh. 
Oh my gosh, the I photo like shoot opportunities here. Yeah, I feel like I'm in a different state than the I feel like hills. I, yeah, I, this could be like California or like Texas. I just want to be an Instagram model. <laughs> it comes with a gym. Yeah. There's a pool. We have a, a barbecue grill there and a barbecue Ooh. grill. This is like the little clubhouse in the community. Um, furnitures cannot be moved, no. uh, but you can definitely decorate and do what you want. Make sure you leave it exactly the way. And we have two restrooms in there too. Like, this is so cool. We're heading out of the gated community right now and just look at this gate. <laughs> How do we get out of here? Do we just go here? I think it should just let you out. Usually when you just go up and it opens automatically. Once you stop. Oh no. See? And we head out. Here's another house we're looking at. This is probably the dining room area. This is when you walk into the living room area and the kitchen. So this is what the kitchen looks like. There's the wooden cabinets. And then over here you have the living room area with the brick wall. This is very <laughs> New England style, but I don't mind the layout. Then over here, we got the, is this the master bedroom? Yep. This is the master bedroom? Mm -hmm. And then we have the sink over here, which I find this kind of weird that the sink area is in the bedroom area. I don't really like that, but the closet is kind of cool. And then, a very tiny bathroom. So you have the bathroom and the shower. And if they use for fancy food, it's really good because that could last like 20 years or whatever. But if it's like a folder septic, so I don't know. I don't really like the master kind of bathroom in this house. And then over here we have oh. Cool, bathroom, two bedrooms. That's cute. Oh, this is kind of like a dance studio. Oh my gosh, how cool. So there's like the ballerina bar right there. And I got my mirror right here. That would be awesome to have a dance studio. Okay, so this house has a very New England look to it. It is an older, home than most of the other houses that we have been looking at. I'm not a huge fan of the style or design of this house, but I did really like the layout compared to the previous houses. So with this layout in this house made the house look more spacious and I did like the location of this house as well. It's pretty close to everything that we need, but because I didn't really like the style of it and we're not looking to get a house that we want to renovate much, it's not gonna be something that we consider. Taking a look at another house. Here we are. So this is what the inside looks like. We have the kitchen area so i don't really like the kitchen here oh let me turn on the lights let me turn on the lights oh there we go there's the lights so here's what the kitchen looks like i don't really like the wooden cabinets but here is a room and then this is what the bathroom looks like. There's a closet. I don't really know what this area is. Like a, 
a patio, I would use this to like cook stuff outside, anything that might be smelly. This would be a good kitchen, outside kitchen area. Here is a, another room. Another room over here, three bedroom house with a bathroom right here. I wasn't expecting that at all. <laughs> So with this house, I didn't like it at first, but after looking it over and thinking about it for a bit, it's definitely a house that I want to add onto the list because out of all the houses that we have looked at today, this one had my favorite layout. The design just made the house look very spacious and this house is also within our price range, which is why it's something I definitely want to consider. The things that I didn't like about this house was the way the kitchen was designed. There would definitely need to be some renovation that would need to be done there along with the flooring. So if we were to get this house, we would make very small changes because we don't want to spend too much on renovations since it is only a temporary house. I do have to do more research into the location and the area of this place because it's not a place that I am familiar with. So that is going to be a big determining factor as well. We're checking out another house, which is so nice. It has this pool back here. And then we got the little, I think that's a jacuzzi, right? Yeah, there's a jacuzzi and it has a little fall that goes into the pool. So beautiful and a little backyard area that you can see which is just enough right that would be a good size backyard kitchen area I love the countertops the counter color here's the living room area very spacious and then you have the view of the pool and the backyard back there so beautiful and that's it now this is the last house that we looked at today. I just didn't want to record too much in the house since the current owners were still living there and it felt kind of awkward so I just recorded a little bit. This house was absolutely beautiful but it's just not something that we are looking for right now. It is way out of our price range but something that we do want to consider in the future as a possible second home. And that is all I have to show you guys for today. I'm really excited to be taking you guys along on this journey and documenting this whole home series. My boyfriend and I are really looking forward to finding a place together. We have been slowly looking at houses since last year, but I feel like this year we're in a better situation. Things are falling more into place and so if you want to follow our whole journey, please do subscribe to my channel. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see you in my next one. Bye!